guys, it's Taylor. Welcome back to Makeup by Taylor. Yay, woo, pizzazz. So I realized that I deleted my October favorites video. I filmed it like maybe like 15 minutes ago and I deleted it by accident. So I'm going to redo that video. And I know it's like October 2nd, not October, November 2nd. Sorry, guys. But I didn't get a chance to film my October favorites video or that many videos per se because I was not really not in like the mind frame to film any videos if that makes any sense i had a lot going on in my head and going on in my life right now so the first thing i want to talk about is this pumpkin i carved it's mr oogie boogie and i worked really really hard on this i love the way it came out i'm gonna post i'm going to try and attempt to add the videos to the videos that I posted on Instagram in this video, it may or may not work out. Please don't, like, start screaming at me like a baboon because the videos aren't in there. But I'm just really proud of this pumpkin. This is, it took me a really long time to get all the pumpkin gucks out. But I kind of like how not everything came out. Like, it's kind of, like, rugged on the inside. I'm going to try and show this to you guys. Oops, the candle's falling out, but I don't know. Like, see, it's kind of, it kind of gives it, like, a creepy feel to it, I guess. And more on the Halloween. Oh, my pumpkin is getting, like, a little moldy. The inside of it, the little thing's getting a little moldy. Ew. It's time to carve. Dun, dun, dun. Pumpkins all it guys look at it looks so cool I'm so proud of it oh my god Mr. Oogie Boogie's all lit up he's looking sorry about that guys I just noticed that um on to my on to more of my October favorites there's I'm gonna talk about the Halloween stuff first so favorites for Halloween the um monster cereals I have two boxes of Count Chocula I love Count Chocula I think you should be accessible all year round, but it's just a Halloween thing, and I got the orange Oreos. Um, another Halloween thing that I got was the Bath and Body Works hand sanitizers and the little pumpkin holder, like when you click it, the eyes light up and they flash. And I want to talk to you guys about like the scents. Oops, I don't want the I don't want the cap thing to fall off. I had the pumpkin in my lap, so I'm just gonna put I'm just gonna put that there. So what I really like about these scents are they are very sweet and I really like sweet things. Alright, so the first scent that I got, like immediately, Bath and Body Works, they have their like annual Halloween scents, soaps, and everything. I'm just looking for the scent on here because... Oh, okay, so this is Vampire Blood, and this is Wicked Plum. I think it smells more like raspberry. It smells, it smells like candy. It smells so good. And then I got the Twisted Web, and this is um, Creepy Orange. It has a very citrusy scent, like a light citrusy scent, if you like that type of stuff. And then I got... Perfect potion, and this one smells like pumpkin, and it smells really good. I really like the packaging on these. They're all, like, really cute and creepy. I think my favorite packaging is the cat one, but I think my favorite scent overall is the vampire blood, and it smells, it just smells so good. Like, oh my god. I'm just gonna put this back in there. These things are pretty easy to get back in there, it's just sometimes it takes a little bit of time to get it like all straightened out so it fits on pro so this fits in it properly but I'm, I'm just like obsessed with how cute this is and how it lights up like I'm obsessed all right so um da, 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 da. enough with the Halloween stuff some some of my October more of my October favorites is I made an unboxing video for this this is the sickly mouse painting that Ricky Horror or Ricky Olsen from Motionless Noy, he's one of the guitarists, he painted this and I was like, I need to get this because like I like having like artwork that musicians have created and I tried, I didn't really give you, I haven't uploaded the video, oops I walked myself in the face, I haven't uploaded the video yet, but you guys couldn't really see like the detailing because it was still like rolled up and please just ignore the bottom, this is 
behind um the picture that's actually in this is like a Doctor Who lands on the Wicked Witch of the West. Like it's kinda like a crossover between the Wizard of Oz and Doctor Who, but that doesn't matter right now. So this is just like it's a very twisted and beautiful Mickey Mouse. I really I'm like obsessed with this and I'm really glad I finally got it all like rolled out. I'm kinda mad that there's like little wrinkles in it from trying to get it to roll out. But I'm really, I can't wait to frame this. Like, I am so excited. You guys don't even know. So, I've already talked about this. These are the brushes that I have, brushes. I haven't used them yet, but they are Disney villain themed. And it's the Evil Queen from Snow White. And there's three brushes, and they're all, like, soft and, like, the eyebrow brush. It comes with an eyebrow brush, a slanted, a slanted brush, and then an all-over face brush for, like, Foundation, blush, stuff like that. I have I have quite a few beauty products to pick up. So I got I splurged, not splurged, but um. So we all know Jurassic World came out, and at Walgreens or at Walgreens, not Walgreens, at Walmart. Sorry guys, Walmart and Best Buy they released like a special. Like, you get, like, a little gift that comes with it. And they also have the Blu-ray disc where the box, it's, like, a circle. Like, it has, like, a circle and then, like, a square connected to it. I really didn't want the t-shirt one, so I got the lunchbox. And this is what it looks like. I haven't watched Jurassic World yet. Sorry, guys, I'm talking, like, 50 billion miles per hour. But I kind of do that when I get excited about things. So it has um, a T-Rex, the skeleton of a T-Rex. And this is a really durable tin. And on the back, the raptors. I think it's all so cute. Like, this one's like, rah, and this one's like, come at me, bro. Rah, and then like, meh. I don't know. But it has like the little um, Jurassic World. And on the inks, I got this specifically because I need a place to put like all my special, special makeup. Like I have... So I talked about this in one of my videos. It's a Disney villain themed blush and it's called Jealous Blush and it has the evil queen. I talked about this in um, my Halloween haul and when I did um, Captain Falcon's makeup, you guys should check it out. Just warning you, it's a very long vid video. It's 56 minutes. Sorry about that. I'm not good at video editing yet. I'm going to work on that guys, I promise. And then... Um, so it's a really nice like peach coral color. That was one of the beauty products I got. So well, I did a review on these and my thoughts on them. The so I so if you guys didn't know, um, CoverGirl released a Star Wars makeup collection and I got my hands on um, some of the things. The only reason why I got my hands on this, on these, and I knew that they were in store was because of my best friend Tyler. He came over and he's like, hey, I got this lipstick for you. And he showed me and I was like, oh, where the hell did you get this? Oh, my God. And um, he's like, Walmart. And I, I originally thought this was just like an online collection. And I guess it's not. It's in Walmart. I found some at Target, too. And I was like, we need to go to Walmart, like, right now. And I picked up this... I picked up a nude color, and I've never really owned a nude lipstick before, but I really like this. It kind of has, like, a peach undertone to it, and it's sparkle. It's, like, shimmery, but not, like, super-duper overpowering, power, overpower, overpowering shimmer, but, like, I'm all, I'm, I'm kind of nervous, like, when things have, like, shimmer or glitter in them, because I don't want to have, like, that gritty texture. I don't know if cosmetic glitter has, like, a like a gritty texture but I was just nervous about this and it like I didn't notice any of like the I didn't have like that feeling when I wore this but this is the new shade which is shade 70 or 70 and then I got this purple shade it's kind of like a wine it's kind of like a purpley wine color like maybe like a plum but it's like not like super dark so it's not like very like gothy like I think this is like a happy medium between like gothy and non-gothy like it's not I don't know if that makes sense but it's like it's like the perfect shade of purple if you don't want it to be like super like 
vamp vamping stuff like that. I really like this. Like this was the shade I was looking for. Like it's so pretty. And I did a, and you guys will have to check out my review video for like the swatches. I really don't want to get like lipstick on my face not face on my hand cuz I just took a shower and everything. And then I have the CoverGirl Star Wars The Force Awakens, the Super Sizer Mascara. It's waterproof and it comes in the shade Berry Black. And what's really cool about these is it has the Star Wars logo. And it also has a phrase on it. I got one that says, May the Force be with you. I don't know if this is like reading backwards or not. but And it says 1 out of 10. And there is 10 mascaras that you can choose from. And they all have, like, the dark side and then the light side. And I'm really happy with, like, the, how cool the packaging is. The packaging is fantastic. And, yeah, so that's, like, my makeup. Um, a TV show that I've been obsessed with is I've talked about this TV show before. It's Supernatural. I'm really happy. I'm ca happy with the season, so with the way the season's going so far. Please, please just, like, I'm just, like, fidgeting and stuff. And I'm kind of fidgety lately. But, um... Yeah, it's really cool so far. Crowley is super sassy, and I love Crowley and Cass and Sam and Dean. Like, I kind of like the, like, the characters everyone likes, but I think I'm more of a crowley Cass type of girl. But it's really good so far. I haven't seen the most recent episode, so guys, please don't, like, spoil it for me. Anyway, guys, I just want to let you guys know, like, what what um, my favorites for October were. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have a Facebook page, Makeup by Taylor, or www.facebook.com backslash Makeup by Taylor 8. I also have an Instagram page, sassy underscore Taylor 8. And I have a little picture in the bottom right hand corner. If you click that, it'll bring you to my channel. And you can check out my videos. Maybe subscribe if you like what you see. Give me suggestions on what you want me to do or what type of videos you want to see because I'm open to all types of suggestions and concurrence. positive concurrence constructive criticism. I cannot talk today. But, um, yeah. So, if you guys like the videos, give a thumbs up. All that jazz. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.